I'd like to tie for you Zag Bag Nymph. The hook I have on the vise is size 14 Nymph hook by Mustad, and the thread I'm going to use is black 6 sot uni thread. As you can see, I already have some wire on the hook, and that will help to add some weight on the fly since I'm not using the bead. I'm gonna wind the thread started behind the eye of the hook and go all the way down to the point where the barb used to be. I'm gonna stop here, trim off the excess. For the tail I'm going to use four fibers of this peacock feather tip <clears throat> and I'm going to measure the tail I want the tail to be the length of the hook shank and tie that down with a couple loose loops like this one wrap under the tail for the ribbing I'm going to use silver gold uh, silver oval tinsel and now I can tie that down I will tie all the length of the hook shank and that will help me to build the body. Now I can trim off this excess, clean this up with the thread and I'll bring my thread back to the tail. Now for the body I'm going to use three peacock curls I'm gonna tie that down and bring the thread forward like so I'm gonna stop here now before making the body I like to add drop of head cement in the hook shank that prevents peacock curl from unwinding in case it slips from my fingers and it makes it a little bit stronger. When you wind the peacock curl make sure to be careful not to touch the tip of the hook since the curl is so fragile most of the times if you touch the tip of the hook it will break. body and I'm gonna stop right here secure that a couple wraps of the thread I can trim off this excess now I'm going to counter wrap tinsel and that helps to protect peacock curl as well when the fish bites. A couple wraps to secure everything in place. And I can trim 
them up this success. Clean up everything with the thread. Like this. Now, for the legs, I'm going to use this brown soft heckle and I'm going to grab the tip and tease the rest of the fibers back. I'm going to take my scissors and cut the tip off. Now when you tease the fibers back you get this V shape and that's the part I want for my legs. So. As you can see, that's what we are going to use for the legs. I'm going to put that on the top of the fly and hold them down. Tie down with a couple loose loops. This. wraps in front, everything is secured, I can trim up the excess. <coughs> For the wing, I'm using tip of the mallard feather, and I already have that pre-cut, this is the tip, and I trimmed this part here so I get this triangle looking piece of feather and I want this wing to be two-thirds of the length of the body put that on the top and tie that down with a couple loose loops Our wraps in front to secure everything and trim up the excess. to form a little head here and give it a whip finish. Four turns, that's enough. Make sure everything is tight and trim off thread. Just a drop of head cement. And here we have Zagbag Nymph. I hope you liked my video. I thank you for watching and tight lines. <laughs>